Hey, <laughs> what up, what up, what up? I told y'all I was breaking these videos up. We're gonna go through the powder drawer and the loose powder drawer. Honestly, you guys, either these are going to be kept, gifted to my sister, or trash. This one can be gifted to somebody because I never even opened it. So that's just how this video is gonna go. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Let me know how y'all feel down below. And I know y'all see my leg and everything. Yes, it's still the same day of me doing these declutters, but I told y'all I had to break them up. That's just how they're gonna go. We're gonna jump right on in. So the first one is my MAC Deep Dark Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. You guys, I've been loving this. I've been using it. I'm gonna continue to use it. I only have two MAC powders that I actually own and the other one is in my shop my stash and that's another thing you guys if y'all don't see some products that y'all know y'all seen throughout this year it's either in my end of the year favorites or it's in my shop my stash for the month for this month because I still am doing that the dark is in my uh shop my stash and I'm gonna keep the dark deepest to the deepest yeah dark deep Lord, I couldn't get it together. So I am gonna keep this. These two are the exact same. This is my Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder. They are in the level, no, these are not levels. These are shade Ebony's. You guys, I have two of them. One is open, one is not. Y'all know I've been loving using this to contour. I use these as a backup of the CoverGirl Clean Ebony Bronzers. But now that Spectrum came out with Ebony Bronzer again, I'm going to keep one and I'm going to give one to my sister. I haven't, oh, I opened this one too and I was using it. This is the newer one. The other one has a dip in it. So I'm going to give this one to my sister. And Ruby Kisses is found in my beauty supply store. So go check y'all stores because I don't know where else they are selling them. All right, my AOA setting powder, the perfect setting powder. This one is in the shade Banana. You guys, I need to kind of shop my stash it. It seems to be a little too yellow, but AOA comes from Shop Miss A. It's their own personal line. You guys, I hate this. It gets so freaking dirty. But I am gonna continue to shop my stash this one because I have a love-hate relationship with it. So I'm gonna keep that as Shop My Stash. My Koki Professional Translucent Setting Powder. This one is in Translucent. You guys know I have a product update video coming with Koki Professionals. So I'm gonna keep it for right now, but I think afterwards I'm gonna get rid of it, but we're gonna see when I go to do that video. All right, my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, Andrea Renee. Oh, she tried to get me onto it, but I just didn't like it. So I am gonna give it to my sister and see if she likes it. If not, she could throw it out because it really just did not work for me. I do not really like this pressed powder as setting powder. So I'm gonna see if my sister likes it. If not, trash. All right, my Too Faced, what is this? It's the banana setting powder and banana cream. You guys know I got this in a gift set. Um, I really wanna give this away because it really doesn't work for me. Um, it's very translucent, but it has that pinky undertone to it that I don't think I like. And once again, I don't like pressed powders, but I love Too Faced. Ah! Okay, I'm going to shop my stash it if I don't like it. I know somebody that probably will. It's my coworker. She probably will like this. So I'm going to shop my stash it. Both of my Milani uh translucent powders this one is in banana this one is in medium to deep i'm gonna give both of them to my sister and see if she likes them if she doesn't she could get rid of them um they just didn't work too well with my skin with my skin how do i say it with my skin not my skin tone or my skin complexion but the texture of my skin there it goes it didn't work for the texture banana showed all of my pores y'all all of my pores so I don't like that one and the loose powder i have some other ones that i think i would like more so i'm gonna see if my sister likes them if not they go bye bye 
All right, like I said, this Toffee LA Colors Press Powder, I'm going to put it in the giveaway because I never opened it. And when I say giveaway, you guys, not giveaway to you guys because I don't like giving you guys used makeup. And I know this one is brand new, but would you guys like LA Colors? Like, I have to give away to you guys some good, expensive products. That's just how I feel. But if you guys would like LA Colors in a giveaway here and there let your girl know down below in the comments because i will go and pick up some but this is just going to go in a giveaway pile for my co-workers to see if they want to go through it and if they want to take any of this so my banana powder i got this out of a boxy charm it just says banana powder you guys i tried and tried and tried but i don't think i like this so this one is gonna go in the giveaway pile as well. So let's pull these last four items up to the front. All right, so my Anastasia Beverly Hill in Mahogany is my bronzer powder. You guys, she's not going nowhere. As you can tell, I put a good dip in her. So she won't go anywhere. I love her and I need to go and buy a backup of this one. My Black Radiance Translucent Setting Powder. This one is in banana as well. Not going nowhere. I love me some Black Radiance. Now this Wet n Wild Tickle Me Brazil. No, Ticket to Brazil Bronzer. I am going to give away. I tried to use her as like a highlighter because she is too light for my skin tone. But it's a matte powder. And I didn't know that when I bought it. So this is going to go in the giveaway pile too. Now my Makeup Forever Professional Duo Matte Powder. This one is in 216. I'm going to give it to my sister see if she likes it. I didn't, oops, I didn't really like it. But Makeup Forever is really good. So I'm going to give that to her and see if she wants it. Y'all, we did good on this first one, honestly. So Shop My Stash Products is going to go there. I'm gonna keep the pokey back here. I'm gonna keep my black radiance back there. And these are my two bronzers. And then my face powder. Oh, now we have blushes and highlighters. No, I think this one is just blushes. We're gonna get rid of a lot. I think this is blushes and highlighters, but we're gonna get rid of a lot. So we're gonna start with this side, the clean color Miss Cheek Blush. This one is in the shade Sun Baked. Y'all, I actually really like this, but a lot of the blushes and stuff that I kept really don't match me. But this one, this corally pinky color, may not be too bad on my cheeks. I just don't like when blushes look ashy on me. So I am gonna keep this one, but I'm gonna keep it on the Shop My Stash side to test out and see if not i could give this away to one of my co-workers i am gonna keep the clean colors miss cheek this one is in gypsy i like this one it works well with my skin tone look at that i love the berry color so i'm gonna keep her as well as the clean color this one is in mauve i did get these off i think it was shop miss a Oh, so pretty. So I am going to keep this one as well. I love these cheap makeup wipes that I find at the Dollar Tree and stuff so that I can, you know, use them for swatches because they're no good for your face. But I love to use them for the swatches. Highlighters and blushes right here. This one is from Maybelline. This one is in Molten Topaz. You guys know this is not going nowhere. Absolutely one of my favorite highlighters in the world. This Milani, what is this? bronze burst color harmony palette you guys i'm gonna go ahead and give this one to my sister and see if she likes it my nyx ombre blush this one is in sweet spring let's see Ooh, bright pink bright pink and i know with the ombres you could actually you know do one of these numbers Oh, but look at how that looks on my skin. This is going to go in the giveaway basket. We got to find it a new home. This Milani Romantic Rose Blush. This one's going to have to find a new home because I knew this one was too light for my skin. And oh, this one is going out. Okay. She goes in the trash. 
So we're going to go over here to the e.l.f. blush palette. I only kept three of the blushes because these three were a perfect match for my skin tone. So we're going to keep all three of these. E.l.f. don't make these no more, I don't believe. This e.l.f. palette, I said the last declutter I was going to try to use and see if I actually like it. It goes from a cream to powder. This one was in the shade Bronze Violet. Y'all, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. It's still good quality it still works and stuff but i never reached for it so the bronzer seems to not want to work all that well so i am gonna go ahead and throw that one out i do have this tarte parte amazonian clay um blush that i got for my birthday one year from sephora i believe but look at it it doesn't even work for my skin tone, so that goes in the giveaway. This one is from Malibu Glitz. This one is in the shade, it just says Blusher. Y'all, I think I kept this to see if I actually liked it on my skin, and I don't think I used it at all. Oh, she's pretty though. Okay, I'm going to have to keep her. She's pretty. She matches my skin tone. My Pretty Vulgar Blush. Um, make Them Blush in Hush Blush. You guys, this was really pretty and I got it in my BoxyCharm. But I think it's a little too light for my skin tone. Yeah, look at that. That is way too light. And I actually really liked it because it was a matte blush. But I'm going to have to give this away. I'm going to have to find it a new home. All right, moving on. We have three blushers right here. We have the Black Radiance blusher. This one is in Raspberry. Y'all, this is not going nowhere. It is an absolutely beautiful color. It matches me any time of the year, so I'm keeping it. The Clean Color Baked Blush, I'm going to get rid of. This one is in the Fruit Sorbet shade. Too light for my skin tone, y'all. I don't know what I was thinking. Same thing with Perilous and Pink from Wet n Wild. You guys, I tried. I tried to keep all of these Wet n Wild blushes and just it's just too light. It's just too light. I think these are two setting powders and a highlighter. The highlighter is the Loose Highlighter Powder by Wet n Wild. This one is in um, Hustle and Glow. Not going nowhere. Absolutely love it. The NYX Set It and don't fret it. This one is in medium dark. I'm gonna give it to my sister to see if she likes it. I just never absolutely fell in love with it, so she has to go. My Ruby, no, my Kiss Professionals setting powder and banana. I think I like, I think I like this. So I'm gonna shop my stash it. I can't really remember. I'm gonna shop my stash it. I found this at my beauty supply store. I'm gonna keep it, shop my stash it. If I don't like it, I'm gonna see if my sister likes it. All right, we only got these back here left. Y'all, my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush, you guys. Absolutely love these blushers, but this is not my color. This one is in Orchid Hush. So I have to find it a new home. As you could tell, I really never used her. I think I only swatched her and been holding on to her ever since, but she has to find a new home. My Ulta Cheek blushes, these, the Ulta Cheek colors, I have to keep because these actually match me. This one is in Adore. This cheeker is in Sunkiss. They both match me so well and I love them. Look at that. My NYX Electric Electro HD, I'm keeping it. It is. It packs a very loud punch and you have to use it with a very soft hand, but it does match my color, so I'm gonna keep that one. I just got this Rimmel Maxi Blush in, what is that? I'm going to keep her because I did just pick her up from Walmart and she actually does work on my skin tone. So she stays. My NYX Ombre Blush in Cold Breaker. I think this is the only one that actually matches me. Yeah. Because it has that little purple in it. And 
Look at her. She matches. So she stays. My City Colors Baked Blush in Peach. Let's see. Oh, that may not work. Oh, no, it doesn't work. And I don't have City Colors in my area no more, neither. So she has to find a new home. Okay, this LA Colors Bronzer in Bronze Glow. I think I used her as a highlighter. She's going to most likely stay. Yeah, she stays. She works really good. So we're going to keep her with the highlighters. Now, Apricot in the middle by Wet n Wild. I know it's too light for me. It's probably a blush topper. I probably tried to use her for a highlighter, but she's too pinky for my skin tone. So I have to find her another home. Mellow Wine by Wet n Wild, I think matched me really good. And I think I'm able to keep her. Yeah, I'm able to keep her. That is all the blushes, you guys. We burnt through that one. That's all the blushes and highlighters, but I think I got some more highlighters underneath me. Now this next drawer is full of highlighters, I believe. So, whew, I am gonna take her and sit her right here. This is what it looks like, my goodness. And I'm gonna try to fit whatever I can into this drawer over here. You okay? All right, the Hard Candy Glow All The Way Tropical Tan Instant Bronzer. You guys, I tried to keep this and use this for all over body glow, but I never did use it, so I need to find it a new home before it actually goes bad. Very pretty color, but it just didn't work for me. I did never use it. So I have the Becca Topaz. Is this Topaz? Yes, this is Topaz um, Shimmer Skin Perfect. I'm going to keep her. Love her. This was gifted to me in a makeup swap. Going to keep it. Got to use it. I'm going to put her on this side with the rest of the highlighters. My Anastasia Amrezy highlighter. You guys, I do have a backup of one of these, and I do believe I'm going to put it on my Poshmark. I love this. It was limited edition, but I think they did bring it back for the holidays. But I know I'm not going to ever finish this because this is just a highlighter topper. It's a tad bit too light for my skin tone to wear it alone. But I did buy a backup because it was limited edition. And I decided I was going to put it on my Poshmark, so that's what I did. But this one I'm going to keep. My Maybelline Master Chrome, this one is in Molten Gold. You guys, it's breaking up on me because I use it so much. But I am going to keep it. I need to clean it up some. But once again, it's one of the best creamy drugstore foundation uh, foundations. Highlighters and... Between that one and Molten Topaz, they are my top five. I love them so much. All right, my three NYX highlighters. I think these are highlighters. Yes, illuminators, illuminate. Yes. Okay, so this one is going to be the Narcissistic. Y'all, these are like throwback. I'm not going to keep Narcissistic because it is too light and peachy for me, but I tried to hold on to it as long as I could. This was my very first Ulta haul. If y'all was to go way back in my channel, you would see these. This was one of the first three videos I uploaded here on YouTube. That's how long I've been having it. They are still good, but I just been holding on to them because there was a part of my first hauls. But I am gonna find this one a new home. This one is in Magentic. I think this one's a little too peachy for me too. Yeah, it's a little too peachy. So I'm going to find this one a new home. And then the last one is Chaotic. And of course, it's peachy too. Look at me. Y'all can tell I didn't know what I was doing when I first started in makeup. I am going to go ahead and get rid of this Cover FX Glitter Drop. I got this in a boxy charm, but you guys, I never did use it. I think you could use it as a highlighter, or you may want to mix it in with foundation. I'm not for sure. And I think that's the reason why I never did keep it, because I didn't know. 
this one is in the shade Nova. So I am going to find it a new home. Okay, this one came from Watch Me Sparkle. My sister Kendra here on YouTube came out with her own cosmetic line. This is a highlighter, she told me. I thought it was a loose eyeshadow, but she told me it was a highlighter. And it's on the verge of Fenty's Trophy Wife. That's what it's on the verge of. Like, I think that's what she was going for, and I think she basically nailed it. I am going to keep it because, of course, it is my sister's. But I haven't used it as a highlighter because it is really popping gold. Just like Trophy Wife, I don't use it as much, but I can use them as eyeshadows. But I got to keep it in my highlighter drawer because... You know what? No, I am going to move it over to my single. All right, so I do have this vintage highlighter palette by Jessica. I don't know how to say her last name. I got this in a boxy charm a long time ago. It's the Illuminating Face Set, Rose Quartz, and Chocolate Diamond. You guys, I absolutely love this, so she's not going nowhere. Got to keep her. Um, my two Fenty matchsticks. This one is in Confetti, and this one is in Yacht Life. Confetti, I am going to clean her up and put on Poshmark because I know I'm just not going to use confetti like that. So I'm going to put her, clean her and put her in my Poshmark. If you guys would like to purchase her, that's where you will find her. And then Yacht Life is really peachy, really peachy. And of course, she's a cream blush highlighter. I'm going to give it to my sister and see if she likes it. If not, I'm going to Poshmark her. The e.l.f. Sunkissed Bronzer, I'm going to give to my sister. I use this for a very long time. And even though she does work, I am basically over her. So my sister can have that. My Ruby Kisses. Uh oh, I didn't know what that was. Y'all don't come for me. This is the All Over Glow and this one is in bronze glow this one is shattered i think i am gonna knock this off and actually use her because she is really pretty she is really pretty and i need to use her for one of those soft highlight days but i do need to clean her out and just i thought i was gonna press it back together but i didn't so that's what we're gonna do with her we're gonna keep her but we're gonna clean her up the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter, you guys, Rodeo Drive is supposed to fit everybody's skin tone, and she really doesn't, but I just can't seem to let her go yet. So I use her as a highlighter topper, and that's what I'm going to keep her on. Y'all have a client coming at 4.30, so I have to hurry up and get this one done. This is the Fenty Fairy Bomb in Copper Chill. You guys, this is a loose highlighter that would never end. I am going to keep her. I want to find another empty container and give my sister some of this because I know this is never ending, but I am going to keep her. I also have the Fenty Match Stick in Rum. She's a hot, another highlighter. And she is a beautiful color too. Oh, so pretty. I'm going to give this one to my sister and see if she likes it. If not, she could give it back to me. <laughs> so I do have these two Fenty Kilowatt highlighters. This one is in Mean Money and Hustler Baby. They are not going nowhere. You guys know how they look. Very beautiful. Keeping that. And then here's the famous Trophy Wife. Not getting rid of her at all. Now, I do have all of these Wet n Wild Halo Liquid Highlighters. They're the Mega Glow Liquid Highlighters, you guys. I did pick up the full collection. Whew. Okay, I'm going to tell you the ones I have. I'm going to tell you the ones I'm going to get rid of. I have Goddess Glow. I'm going to keep. I have... Rosie and Ready, I'm going to find a new home. I never even opened it. As well as Holographic. going to get rid of these two because I never opened them. Find them a new home. I am going to keep Go With The Glow. I'm going to keep that one. And also Gilded Glow. I'm going to keep. 
I do have this rainbow highlighter from Wet n Wild. This one was limited edition. This is Unicorn Glow. I never opened it, but I am going to keep it because it is a rainbow highlighter. And then the rest of these are Wet n Wild. So we're just going to go through them and see what we're keeping and see what we're not. Because as much as I collect Wet n Wild, because y'all know I love Wet n Wild, all these colors do not match me and I know they don't and I can't continue to keep holding them just because the collector in me so these two are limited edition and this one is the rose gold these both let me say that these both are the highlighter bricks from wet n wild this one is in rose gold this one is in bronze bar so i'm gonna give my sister the rose gold bar and i'm gonna keep the bronze bar only because i need I know I'm not going to use them up. Both of them are pretty colors. I would keep both because that's just me. I would. I would. I would. But I think my sister would like the rose gold. And I'm going to keep the bronze gold. Alright. We have. Boom, let's turn these around so you guys can see. We have Awesome Blossom Highlighter. These are all the Mega Glows by Wet n Wild. Awesome Blossom. I think we're going to keep. Oh, don't tell me Awesome Blossom is going out. Oh no, she's still kicking. She's still there. We're going to keep her. We have Blossom Glow. You guys, I know this doesn't match me, but I was trying. I really was trying. But I got to find her a new home. I got to. She's very pretty though. Um, This one was limited edition in Royal Calyx. And I never opened her. I want to keep her because she's purple and she's limited edition. I'm going to keep her. I'm also going to keep this one. This one is the highlighter powder. This one is in White Raven. She was limited edition as well. I'm going to keep her. I never opened her, but I'm, I'm going to keep her. Now, this one I could give get rid of. This one is in Purple Ashes and this one is limited edition. I am gonna go ahead and get rid of her. This one is in Golden Flower Crown. Let's see. This one here is on the verge, on the verge. I'm gonna keep her though. This one here is Precious Petals. You guys, I had this forever. I think I'm gonna give Precious Petals to my sister only because I had her so long and my sister needs some highlighters from your girl. So I think I'm going to give her precious petals. Um, and then we have Crown in My Canopy. I think I'm going to give to my sister too because I had her for a while and I used her for so long. It's time for me to give it a little home. I did put some of them over in here, but we're going to try to see if we can fit any more. It may not work because I kept a few, but I did pretty darn good. I didn't keep every last one of them like I thought I was going to keep. All right, you guys, that's really it. We did two highlighter drawers, and I think we did pretty good. We don't even have one full complete drawer anymore um the most part that's holding up all the room oh, is the organizers due to the fact that i tried to call myself organizing all of these drawers but like i said i'm getting a new system new drawer system so that we could you know have this looking a little bit better these drawers were good to start off with, but they are too shallow. So that's the only reason why I want new drawers because we really can't hold a lot in there unless I just have it all scattered around. And I don't want all my drawers scattered around. So we did really good. I am gonna come back and do the next drawers, but right now I have a client getting ready to come. So I gotta cut it right here and then We'll pick back up with this drawer because that's more highlighters. But I do believe we're gonna get rid of a whole lot. All right, you guys, we're back. We have this drawer 
to go through and you guys we're gonna try to empty and give away majority of this stuff that's in here oh we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it we have the artist couture times jackie anna and la peach you guys know i'm keeping this it's a loose highlighter i have lebron somewhere around here and i don't know why i keep them in the packaging i guess because it's jackie Ina, but we are gonna keep these next we have the juvia's place loose highlighter and nefertiti you guys i am gonna keep this one as well i remember purchasing this about a year ago and i haven't used it as much so i do need to show it some love so i will be keeping it now here we are with the jeffree stars you guys Jeffree Star Cosmetics. These are the Skin Frost. This one is in Regina George. And it is a pink one. So I will be putting this on Poshmark because I just would never use the pink one. And then the other one I have is Mint Condition and it is a green one. I am going to Poshmark this one too. I think I've only swatched this one as well. So yeah. That's what's going to happen with that. All right. And then the last one is Peach Goddess. I think this is about the only one I'm going to keep. Only because it is a little closer to my skin tone. I know it's still a little peachy, but I can use it as a little topper. These are really good, but I don't really use them that often. And I do not bring them to my channel like talking about because... Everybody got something to say about Jeffree Star, and I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of that. Now, I do have a backup of my Wet n Wild Loose uh, translucent powder. This one is, oh, this one's the open one. I do have a backup somewhere. I'm going to keep this because you guys know I love the Photo Focus Loose powder. I have the Jazzy Girl Cosmetics mineral press face bronzer in golden shimmer and she looks like this i am gonna keep her i do i did or i do have the shattered one that they gave me that they sent me and they sent me a replacement so i am gonna keep this one okay i do have the wet and wild fergie collection you guys this is like seriously old center stage collection this one is in Carnival in Rio. You guys, I used to love this for a highlighter. And I think it's about time for me to give it away. I'm going to see if my sister would like it. It's a soft highlighter for, for us chocolate girls. So I'm going to give that to my sister. I also have this Elf Dark Palette. Oh, this is the blushes. I'm going to give this to my sister as well since I kept the other one. I don't need to keep both. So I'm going to give this to my sister and see if she likes it. Okay, so the Wet n Wild Illuminating Mega Glow Palette. This one is in Catwalk Pink. I think I have two of these. So if I find the other one, I am going to give it to my sister. Or I'm going to put it in my makeup kit, the other one. But I am going to keep one for myself. The Milani, what is this one? Holographic Beans and Stellar Light Highlighter Palette. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. I know I've been giving this one a lot of love and I don't really use these two, but I do really like this highlighter. It is a pretty color for my skin tone, so I'm gonna keep that one. You guys are not doing too good. All right, the Too Faced Peach Glow, you guys. I really want to Poshmark this. I think I had it in a declutter once before and then I pulled it back out because I was like, you should give it more love. But as I try to use it, I noticed that it's really not for my skin tone. This one is a little too light. This one is too dark. And the peach, um, the peach blush just is not like pigmented enough so i think it's about that time for me to posh market for real all right now the pure sculptor that i got in boxy charm once before you guys i've been loving it not loving it loving it not loving it 
Um, this one is a tad bit too deep. This one is a good color and both of these highlighters are good shades. So I'm going to keep it a little bit longer and see if I could get some more love out of it. But if not, then I'm going to pass it on to my sister. All right. Now this Sephora Z palette has two blushes in here and I think these are from Makeup Geek. If I'm not mistaken there. This one is called Summer Flame Blush. And yes, this is Makeup Geek. This one is called This one is called Bliss and this one's Makeup Geek as well. This one here has no name, so it's just a highlighter and I believe this one is the Makeup Geek in Scandal. Yes. In Scandal and it's a contour. Now, honestly, I really want to get rid of these two and just keep these two. So I do want to pass these blushes on, but I need to find something to put them in. All right, so I do have my Cinderella's A Dream Come True. This is a Walgreens Disney collection type of ordeal. It's a highlighter, bronzer, blusher type of ordeal, but I mix all of them together and use it as a highlighter. I am going to keep this for a little bit longer and see if I can show it some more love. I am going to get rid of my Wet n Wild Makeup Contour. This one is in Caramel Toffee. Um, this, this shade is just not deep enough and I never use the yellow. So I'm going to put that in the giveaway. I am going to keep my Black Radiance Creamy Bronzer Finish. Um, this one is, yeah, Creamy Bronze Finish and it is a Project Pan. So I am going to keep it, but I am also gonna put it in my my project pan for 2020 all right my pure bronzer and brightening palette dreamer bronze and brightening it's a blush glow afterglow and mineral glow i got in the boxy charm you guys this is a pretty pretty palette and you know what now that i look at this i am going to keep this one uh oh, but I am going to pass this one on to my sister. My Huda Beauty Highlighter Palette. This one is the 3D Highlighter Palette and Bronze Sands Edition. You guys, I don't use this a lot, but I need to show it some love. It actually looks like I use it a lot, but I really, truly don't. So what I need to do is shop my stash this. <laughs> I need to my contour palette for ABH it's the cream contour you guys you see that I tried to use it I try to love it but I really haven't just really dipped off into it so I think I need to keep this and shop my stash it as well or I need to put it in my in my makeup kit you know what, I'm going to put this in my makeup kit and see if I get some use out of it with my clients. That's what I'm going to do with this one. And then last in this drawer is my BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush Kit. You guys, I had this for a while and I think I need to put this back in my makeup kit as well because I just don't use it like when it's in my collection. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to put this in my makeup kit as well. All right. So we did good. Let's see if we can. We can't fit nothing else in here. So let's see what we could put in this drawer. So that was the only way that I could put it back and keep this one as an empty drawer. That makes two drawers empty. And we're going to move on to this drawer. Okay, we have the Gingerbread Heart Highlighter. Um, this one is in Gingerbread and it's from I Heart Revolutions. You guys know I have been looking for these for a very long time. And I found them in my TJ Maxx when I was in Austin. So I am going to keep all of those. This one is Snowflake. 
you guys I honestly need to give snowflake away honestly because I know I would never use a pure white so I'm gonna be real with myself and get rid of snowflake even though I do really want to keep it and collect it the Ben I Topaz loose setting powder I'm gonna keep my collab set the stage isn't it set the stage <clears throat> Set the stage, stage soft focus translucent powder. This is the translucent form. I'm gonna go ahead and gift this away. I do have caramel almond and I like that one way better. I did pick up translucent just to see if I like it and I really don't. And the packaging gets so dirty so fast that it irritates my soul. So I am gonna put this in a giveaway basket. Um. My Too Faced Little Black Book Bronzer. I did purchase this a long time ago. Every YouTuber had this. And I wanted it just because of the way it set up and looked. But you guys, to be honest with myself and you guys, I've never even used this. So I think it's about the time for me to posh market. And go ahead and see if any of you guys would like to purchase it. Alright, my... Juvia's Place, the Hair On Glow Highlighter. I'm keeping it, you guys. This is a nice brick highlighter. And I love the packaging. But this highlighter is gorgeous for my skin tone. And I know I don't use it as often, but you will start seeing it, you guys. You will. My Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero highlighter, you guys. Oof. The only shades I don't use 